I'm not a terrorist, read the signs and the minds of the people criticized for revering the Quran. I'm not a terrorist, what I am is terrified by the flesh and blood supplied by a suicidal bomb that claims to seek a better world. I'm not a terrorist, nor is my mom or my son or the people in my mosque. They're not, believe me, they, we are not. We're good at heart and of that I have no doubt, but the bodies keep piling up and I cannot set aside the monumental cry for an answer to the painful question, why? If our book is good and right, how can you kill a child and a mother and then shout that this madness is done in the name of Allah? We read the exact same words, so one of us must not be reading them right. You or I are both alike, but I know I'm not the one, cause I feel a cutting knife in the corner of my mind when I question what I've known, strong as brick and stone from the moment I was born. Or was it later on, when I was still a boy, that I believed what I was told? I love my father and my mother, they would never try to trick me, so when they told me trust the prophet, I know that they were honest, just as I am honest now. But if my parents formed my conviction and their parents caused this condition, then when did all this cycle start and for what reason? So it's back to the books and what they are about and this one talks of a man whose name I can write but whose face I cannot draw. He teaches kindness and compassion and that fills my heart, but I also must admit that if I read every bit, I do find here and there that his choices and his actions many times are not aligned with how me and my brothers act. He had a 9-year-old wife when he was 55, killed all men in a town whether soldier or not, took their children from labor and their woman to bed, used fire on a man to make him confess where he kept his gold. And when you run across, the Quran writes, those who believe not in your God Allah, strike their necks until you have killed many of them by your hand. And I want with all my heart to find a context in which that which seems barbaric is true and kind. But the truth falls heavy on my bones, heavier than my bricks and stones, and it breaks me in half to realize that maybe you, you're the one who read it right. Maybe you're the one true to Islam and to the Quran, and maybe it's time for me to walk away for good and say goodbye, cause if all it takes to be a Muslim is agree with scattered parts, then the whole world is already Muslim and there's no reason left to fight. I want to cry through my skin and eyes and hearts and don't you try to understand if you haven't seen your heroes fall. Don't pretend to know my troubles if you do not take the time to see that my fate is my home and my family and without them everything falls apart. But I don't want my son or the son of any man to follow thoroughly the book he took directly from my hand and I know it's hard to understand but I finally realized that good. Good comes from within, with or without Islam. It's not your faith that makes you care about your fellow women and men. It is you, it has always been you, pushing your faith from behind. People want a better world and they fight for what they think is right. And yes, I'm even talking to you in the self-exploding car. Cause the world needs your courage and your determination. But you, you're just pointing in the wrong direction.